Hello, my name is David Webb, and this is a video for DweeboVision. I am a Scrabble Grandmaster, and in this video I am going to play Scrabble while providing in-game commentary on my moves. Hopefully this will help to improve your game, and be fun to watch. The game has just started, so let's join the action. It's me to go first. I have a blank, I have a balanced rat, new duplicates. Do I have a bingo? Let me run through the alphabet. The B and the W might mean that I don't, but the blank always adds flexibility. Haven't seen anything yet. Don't think Bowages is good. Well, that would be Jawbones through an N. Nothing is a 7. Wow. Anything here? Don't think so. Through a T, I would have Stowable or T-Bowls. This is going to be close to a bingo, but there may not be one here. Well, that, that looks a decent set of tiles, but I still haven't seen a bingo. Gosh, it would certainly be annoying to miss one. It's always good to start the game with a bingo. Okay, I can't see one. Bow, certainly sorts this rack out. Now, are there any obvious prefixes or suffixes I haven't considered? There's BE as a prefix, but that leaves SAOW, not particularly promising. And there's WHERE as a prefix, but that's using the blank as an R, so I can't see anything. And surely I have something here. Well, I have an abundance of possibilities. There's Karios, Oracies, and Scorry E with as blank as a C. I'm not going to run through the alphabet just yet because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of choices available. Now, what about a word beginning or ending? with an O. I'm looking at the triple word squares at A8 and O8. Can't see anything. Well, that's a good start. Dentate. Does that take a D at the end? I think it takes an E at the beginning. And I think it takes a, a D at the end, in which case I've got Rhodes or Ceridia. Now, in column 15, now, what would be better than that would be column 11, where I have a double-double, effectively a four-timer, through the T of dentate. And I surely do have a bingo through a T. Let's see what I can find. Sabotier. Well, that works. In fact, having spent time early on in the game, I'm inclined to play this quickly, even though there may be slightly better bingos available. Not a great rack. Too many high-scoring tiles. My... Well, my J is a good scoring tile, but I'd like to play off some of my other big tiles with it. Now, I note I've got a D, and I think Dentate takes an E. So, do I have a play? Well, I'm thinking about Impt, Y-M-P-E-D, leaving J-K. That is tempting. I'm not totally sure that it exists, but I think it does. If I had an A or an O, I would have a 50-point play in column 10 next to the A of Sabotier for my J. But I can't see any plays ending EJ. Now, 
Now, is there anything better than Impt in column 15? A play which uses my K as well, for example, or instead of one of my other tiles. Can't see anything. I've got Jerky in row L through the R of Sabotier. It doesn't place the J on the double letter square, but it's going to score reasonably well. About 38 points, leaving DMP, which is not too bad. Okay, good score for my opponent, 67 points. Let's see if this stays on the board. I'll briefly pause in case my opponent's opened up anything for me. And I don't think he has. So, imped and dentated. If this comes off, I won't know which word is invalid. Now, again, I have only one vowel. Yikes. Okay, I've no idea which of those was invalid. At the moment, I have jerky in row L. Wow. My opponent's doing well. So. What can I do here? Now, I'm looking in row H. Do I have a five-letter play beginning O something A using any of my tiles? If I had an I, I would have O carpi. Well, that's quite annoying not knowing which of my moves was false. So, jerky 38. Again, just one vowel, and I'm 70 points behind with my opponent on turn, so I'm not in a great position. But there's still a fair bit of the game to go. So, is dentated good? Not sure. I have idem in row J through the I of Sabotier and the E of Tabulate. But that's keeping five tiles, and it's not a bingo set of five tiles. Column 12 is quite hot onto the... down column 12 onto the A, A of Tabulate, where my F, M or P could go. My I can go in front of the T, so I could play diff. It is keeping M, N, P, S, which is really one too many consonant. Consonants. But it is opening up a bingo lane in row B for bingos ending in D, which is good. My F is my least bingo -y tile, so I'm certainly looking to play that off. It would be nice to also play off an M or a P, but I can't, I can't see a way of doing that. Well, that's taken out the dentated hook. I could have played find if I was feeling brave. So, let me see what this scores. 26 points. This could work out if I draw a lot of vowels. But can I help myself by playing off one more consonant now, which would double the chances of, or increase the chances of drawing a vowel? Nope, I don't think I can. Okay, more consonant clunkiness. I've got Vim in row K under Lucid. Problem with that is it's quite a blocky play. It doesn't score a huge amount, and it 
is again keeping four consonants. But what's the alternative? I certainly do want to play off the V. Well, I could play VUM down here, keeping the vowel. That's certainly better than keeping just four consonants. Now, if I draw an A, an I, an A, an E, or an O, I have quite a good six-letter set. Okay, I do have another vowel. It's a U. I've got the I-N-G ending. Well, my opponent's storming away. I could play P-I-S in column 15 for 30 points, but the rack lead T-U-N-G is not good. Well, I was looking in column 10, I could play peg through the E of jerky for not many points, but it's setting up a bingo lane for a bingo ending in S. The problem with that is that it's retaining the U. What about column 15? Do I have a six-letter play beginning with T? No, I don't think I do. Well, I'm thinking about playing Yug down here. Pretty dangerous. Yug takes an A and an S. Oh, well, what about Ugg here? Slightly less dangerous. Yup, and YU takes an S. I've got ten pins and spin it and pin it, all of which... Well, some of which play in row N. Ten pins does and pin it. Do I have an alternative bingo spot? I suspect my opponent will, tempt, will attempt to interfere with the bingo lane I've opened. Ah, oh, great. He's not obstructed my row N bingo. I don't have a bingo ending in the... P of hop, so 10 pins or pinnets. I don't think there's very much between them. Ah, oh, well, this is better, I think, because it puts the P on the triple letter square. So 10 pins and use 71 points. But I'm still a long way behind. Fairly balanced rack. Scoring tiles in the V and the Y. And I've got an E which is good. Because it's a bingo -y tile in itself. And row B is a good bingo lane for bingos ending ED. Now how can I get rid of the V and the Y? I note also I've got an O for going in front of VUM. So that would require a five-letter play ending in O, but it would provide a lot of floaters. Great, not a huge score for my opponent. So where can I play off my V and my Y? I've got ovary as a five-letter play on my rack, but I don't think it goes anywhere. Ah, well, I've got Navy up here. Thirty five points. I'm keeping an O, which is a shame, given that there are four unseen, and this is a vowel heavy rack leave. So, is there something better? I certainly do want to play off. The V and the Y, I think. 
bi takes an o after it, so I could have a four letter play beginning with o. But I can't see a play which plays off the v and the y. Now, gosh, fad takes an o. Let me put this back. Fad takes an O, so I could have a play beginning O-N. So, what about Onery? Still one blank unplayed. 41 points, that's more points. And I'm avoiding a vowel-heavy rack leave, and there's plenty of vowels to come. Okay, more heavy tiles. I've no longer got the O for going in front of VUM. But there aren't many five-letter plays ending O. Now there is some synergy with the tiles on my rack. W and H go well together. I've got Warved in row B, which places my W and my V on triple letter squares. The disadvantage of that play is that it's playing off a lot of tiles, which I don't want to do since I'm behind. And it's also providing an easy scoring opportunity in column 8 with my A immediately underneath the triple word square. And I'm taking out row B as a bingo lane, although in doing so I'm opening up new bingo lanes in rows A and C, so there is merit. Well, that's nice. I hadn't uh, noticed that hook, but it is good. Not totally sure about the Carl hook, so I'm going to challenge it. Yep, that's, that's fine. So do I play Warved? Just looking in row L to see if I've got a better play through the A of Carl. I think I do want to open this board up. I'm a bingo behind. So, there is a blank unseen. If I play Warped, I'm getting rid of the W and the V and the H, which are all quite un bingo -y. There are no scoring tiles left apart from the X. So really this is a do or nothing do or die play to to get a bingo. And all of the bingo lanes on this board are around warved, so my opponent may well be able to block all of them. So is this the right thing to do? Because there is a bingo lane in row B. This scores 33 points, so this would take me to 330. I'd be 43 points behind. Well, maybe there's something better. I'm wondering about playing just VAW in row L. But the row B bingo lane is not great because the bingo's got to end in D, and it doesn't get doubled or tripled. It would be nice to open up column 1, for example, so it would be good to have a play in row L, which provides a hook which only I have. But I can't see a way of doing that. Well, I think this is fairly bleak in terms of winning prospects, but I haven't seen anything better. I could play Vore in column 9, making Am and Wes, but that's totally blocking the board up. Yeah, I think I am going to go with this. Well, wow, I have Eugonium onto the M of Miz. 
but I'm expecting that to be blocked, or it will be blocked if my opponent plays in column 8. But if he plays in row A, that spot will remain available. I think Ugonium is the only bingo I have, and with three O's and a U, I'm lucky to have one at all. But if my opponent's got the X, he may play in column 8, because it's going, he's not going to be able to play in row A. Fantastic. Ugonium stays available. I don't think this is going to be enough to win. My opponent scored 45 points for Lax, which is a great score for him. But it's always nice to play a bingo, and this is going to reduce my losing spread. So Ugonium 74. And I draw the blank, so I should be going out. I am 14 points behind. My opponent's got Glossy. And does that play? That's Gloss AE. Oh, I know that my opponent has opened a bingo lane in column 2 for a bingo's ending in S with his Cam play. So does he have a bingo down there? I don't, I'm not aware of any anagrams of Glossy. And Glossy does play in row A at A1. So he, sh he could be going out with a bingo. Now, if he doesn't, what's, what's the most I can score? I'm looking in row A to see if I can play above W, H, A and R. In which case the... Ah, great, my opponent did miss the bingo, but he scored 31 points, so he is now 45 points ahead. He's going to lose 6 on count back, so I need 39 to draw. Well, that isn't going to happen. So, what can I do with this rack? I'm looking in column 2 to see if I can play next to AX. I certainly do want to go out, and I can do that in row E. I can play Oni, O-N-I-E, underneath Ugonium. 17 points, which is quite a lot for this rack. And I can't see a good play in column two. So I think I'm going to play this. Only 17 points. Just waiting for my opponent to formally end the game, which he does. And the final score, 427 to me, 449 to my opponent. So a winning margin for him of 22 points. So well done to my opponent. Let's see what I missed. Gosh, Warved was not good. Well, how interesting, because I'm fairly sure that Warv without the D is good. Okay, so it was me to go first. What did I have here? Ouch, I missed Sewable. Okay, well, this has not been a good night at the office. Good bingo by my opponent. Now, Rodi's F15. Okay, well, that's the confirmation I need. Dentate does take a D. It was the impt play, which was no good. I think the past tense is YMPT only. Now, what did I do here? 
Ah, well, I played Sabotier for 78, and actually, I th the triple word score scored more than the four-timer because of all the letters in dentate, but the difference was only one point. Good score for my opponent. This is where I phonied, and what I could have done was play... Kempi at c12, where's that? Ah, making ism, zap and buy. That would have been really good. My, this is where my opponent had tabulate. And I now play jerky and that looks fine. Now I had some consonant heavy racks. What did I do here? I played diff 26, could have got 24 for damp at d12. Could I? d12, fad, bar, um. Ah, no, playing in row d, I see, d through the a of tabulate, damp for 24. Well, not great, because that's opening up column 15, and it's keeping the f. Well, there are various pros and cons of most of those moves. I didn't really like playing Vum because of how it blocked the board. But looking at the rack leaves of the suggestions there, none of them are great. Nice play by my opponent, 42 points. So, what did I do here? I played UG for the Rackley because I was behind and I was looking for a bingo, and I think that was the right thing to do. What did my opponent have here? Well, he didn't have a bingo. And I did. Ten pins and pinnets, both playable. Ten pins scored the more. And this is where I played Onery, and I was thinking about playing Navy. And I could have played Envoy. Ah, well, I saw Fado, and I didn't see Fade, so that was remiss. Envoy certainly would have been the play. 50 points, good rack leave, and playing off the V and the Y. So, nine more points than my play, and AR instead of AV, so Envoy, much better play. My opponent has Callers, Sellers, and Scleral. Does he have anywhere to play anything? He does not. Now, this is where I had Vor parallel to Miz, but that blocks the row B bingo lane and doesn't open up any bingo lanes, and the rack leave isn't great. And instead, I apparently phonied, or did phony, but got away with that. Ugonium was the only playable bingo, so glad to have spotted that, and... This is where my opponent had Glossy. I saw the A1 spot, but he also had it at H2, running parallel to Carl. So that would have been a nice overlapping play. Now, what was my best out? Bine at E3 for 17. Well, that's the same number of points as I got for Oni. So Oni was fine. So a close game at the end, but only because I caught up with, Egon with Ugonium. Um, big error in missing sewable at the beginning and in playing the the phony of Impt. And at that point, I was behind and struggled to get back into the game and was fortunate to do so with Ugonium. So that just shows the um, importance of spotting words like sewable on your opening move. I think that would have changed the uh, complexion of the game for sure. Anyway, I think these games are of value um, regardless of mistakes because the mistakes are picked up at the end of the game and therefore can be um, learnt from. So I hope you got something out of that video and enjoyed watching it. My name is David Webb and this has been a video for Dweebo Vision.